Hey guys, so uh, welcome to another video. Today, uh, it's my second day here in Ushuaia and we did not wake up for sunrise because I wanted to catch up on my sleep a little bit and we just didn't feel like it. So the plan for today is that it is very cloudy outside right now. So we are gonna go to a hike, which is about an hour outside of town. And um, according to Carlos, there may possibly be some condors there. So because it's cloudy, it's pretty ideal for wildlife photography because there's no, especially in the middle of the day, there's no harsh uh, bright light on the one side of them and then shadow in the other. So if we see some condors, it might be good. If we don't, then we have a backup plan, which is just to enjoy the hike, but then past the hike, there is a, an old abandoned hotel and an old abandoned bus. And um, Carlos had the idea that they might look really cool, either with stars behind them or uh, with steel wool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out on that hike, uh, see if we find any condors, check out those two other locations for future uh, photo shoots, and then probably come back to the uh, his house here, maybe edit some videos or photos, and then if the sunset looks nice, then we might go out for sunset and do something else. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go find some condors, and I'll, I'll show you if we find any. Hi guys, so uh, we're currently outside of Ushuaia, we're about an hour away from Ushuaia and we're here at the, uh, there's a mountain pass and we're going towards the, uh, the old bus and the hotel and look at this view, look at that, it's epic and it's just, it's so weird, it's one of those classic Patagonia days from, from back in April when we uh, remember and it's just sunny but it's raining at the same time. It just doesn't make any sense. So uh, we stopped. Uh, there was a bird uh, further up the, the road that I took some photos of, so you'll probably see those now if they turned out any good. And we're gonna go on the, the condor hike right away and then go to the bus and the, the hotel afterwards, but since it was raining more in the, uh, the mountain pass where we stopped originally, we decided to just continue scouting and come back later since it's only like, let's see, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So we got time. We're going to keep exploring, hopefully take some more photos, and see what happens later. Okay, so guys, we made it to the first spot. We took this sketchy, old, old, old road down towards the abandoned bus and the abandoned uh, hotel, and we are here at the bus. It's not out in the open like we wanted it to be, but I think if we found the right angle, we could probably get some stars and steel wool on top of this thing, and it would probably look pretty cool. So, commence B-roll of the bus.
Okay, so we just walked around the uh, inside of the abandoned hotel, and that was kind of fun. Um, we looked for possible compositions with our steel wool idea, found some creepy hallways. I think I actually might have gotten a shot handheld in one of the hallways that looked really cool with the uh, shadows and the highlights, very contrasty in there. But now we are walking down to some cabins. There is actually an eagle up in that tree that Carlos is now seeing to the right behind this big tree on that branch right there. And um, now I kind of want my wildlife lens. <laughs> but I think it's the same bird as before, so it's okay. Uh, we're gonna check out these cabins and see if they work with some steel wool. There's a bunch of people here, so I guess they're like just hanging out or camping or something. Um, and then we're gonna go back to the car and get some food because Carlos is hungry. Okay, so now let me explain what's happening. So, uh, where did I talk to you last? I talked to you at the hotel. When we were done at the hotel, we had some lunch. I flew the drone, which you definitely would have seen by now. And uh, now we're back to where we want to see the condors. The rain has cleared up for now. And we're going to do a little bit of hiking and see if we can find some condors or a uh, landscape photo. So, let's, let's hike. Hey guys, so we uh, got a little lost in the woods for about 10 minutes. Um, the markers weren't very <sighs> properly placed, so um, we got a little stuck in some thick brush, but we got out and we found the markers again. We're on the path and we're actually walking past this huge pond that was um, made by some beavers. And the beavers here are actually an issue they were introduced and there's just no natural predators down here for the beavers so the Canadian beaver is currently helping to destroy Ushuaia and uh, this entire national park and the entire island and we need to get rid of them so if you know anyone who wants some beaver pelts send them down here to Tierra del Fuego and uh, they'll get huge beavers with minimal effort so yeah and now we're gonna continue hiking the views are just incredible from up at the top here and hopefully we get lucky and see some condors if not then maybe we can make a composition out of this beaver dam which is actually could be kind of nice if we get some mountains the right way so i'll talk to you guys in a bit and see what we come up with
guys. So I literally just talked to you about five minutes ago with the beavers. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to explain this, but just like, look at that. Truly epic. We're at the top. My feet are kind of tired because I got to break in these new uh, boots that I got. We're uh, looking down upon the uh, the mountain pass that we drove. Ushuaia is behind me. And then if you want to get towards um, Chile and Patagonia, you got to drive up this way more. So this is towards uh, the north. And then you kind of got to go west towards Chile. And uh, that's how you get to the where I was in Patagonia the first time. But right now, we're just going to try to find some photos. Maybe get out the, the wildlife lens. There's a few little birds running around. Fly, flying around, not running around. And um, so I might try to get some shots of those. Um, but I don't see any condors at the moment, but you never know. And it's just nice. So we're gonna, we're gonna take in the views from up here for a bit and then hike back down. So oh, I'll talk to you guys when I got my breath back. Okay, so uh, we took a break on the top of the mountain, took in the views for a little bit, uh, looked for some condors. We didn't see any, unfortunately, but uh, there were a few little sparrows and other types of birds flying around, so me and Carlos both got our uh, wildlife lenses out and took some shots of the little birds. And then we hiked uh, down from the top of the mountain, and now we're in uh, the little grassy trees area and we got a whole flock of little birds that we took some photos of. So now what we're gonna do is hike down and get back in the car and drive back home and probably get some dinner, whatever, and that'll probably be it for today. We did some good scouting and probably wake up for sunrise tomorrow. Uh, we're just kind of winging this whole thing, so I'll update you guys tomorrow in the next video. And yeah, see you there.